Welcome everybody to the 2020 Golden Bell Awards. On behalf of the entire Marin education community, I wanna welcome you to the annual Golden Bell Awards ceremony where we celebrate excellence in our public schools and our community. The Marin Golden Bell tradition began 38 years ago and this is the first time we've ever had a virtual ceremony. The coronavirus has changed so much of what we're doing and I'm so proud of all of our educators for what every administrator, teacher, classified staff, board of trustees doing to make education viable for all of our students. These are really tough times and I so appreciate all of everybody's hard work. Now more than ever, education, it depends on teamwork. And this afternoon we celebrate the, all the members of that team. So let's get to it. Yeehaw! Thank you, Jim. As you might imagine, an event like the Golden Bell is a result of the efforts and support of many individuals, committees, and organizations. We are so grateful to all those who make this tradition possible each year. First of all, the San Rafael Elks Lodge 1108, my very own, has provided the Golden Bells since the Golden Bell Awards began over 30 years ago. College of Marin generously provides printing of the event program free of charge. Community Media Center of Marin, who graciously offered to air our first ever virtual Golden Bell event, and Marin County Public School Districts, who support schools and faculty endlessly so all students have access to high quality education. Now, I would like to share a special video from our U.S. Congressman and my friend, Jared Huffman. Hi everyone, I'm Congressman Jared Huffman. As both your representative in Congress and a proud parent of kids who've had the good fortune of being educated in the San Rafael and Novato school districts and the husband of a public school teacher, I want to take a moment to extend a big heartfelt thank you to all of you for what you do every day making a difference in our community. One silver lining during this novel shelter-in-place reality is our ability to connect using virtual platforms. Everyone is figuring out how to use the mute feature on various programs, and we are getting pretty good at zooming around the digital highway to find meaningful ways to participate in important events like this one. These are truly unprecedented times, and I'm very glad to be included in this year's extra special Golden Bell Awards ceremony. We're so fortunate to have the best and brightest educators in Marin County focused on supporting our children's mental, emotional, and physical development. This caliber of service and commitment includes instructional support staff, superintendents, trustees, volunteers, and the exceptional support from many families, community members, and nonprofits. So congratulations to all of today's awardees. Each and every one of you are doing hero's work, and it is appreciated. An extra special congratulations to this year's Teacher of the Year recipient, who the wonderful County Superintendent of Schools and my dear friend Mary Jane Burke will announce shortly. All of you have gone above and beyond to overcome the hurdles of the country's stay-at-home reality and find ways to creatively engage with students and keep them on track in their education. That is no small feat. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world today and a lot of fear. The challenges that you all are facing cannot be overstated. But the dedication and passion all of you are bringing to your careers makes a difference that is beyond words. Your work eases the burden on parents homeschooling for the first time, and I can guarantee it gives security and comfort to students whose daily routines have been upended by this crisis. I'm hard at work in Congress fighting for aid to ease the struggles that are presented by the coronavirus crisis, and I want to assure you that advocating for educators like you is the top of my priority list. Because of you, Marin County's public schools are some of the best in the state and the nation, even during a catastrophic pandemic, and your needs are paramount. Now, before I close, I also want to send a big thank you to everyone participating in this event. You all have had a positive impact on numerous students in our community, improved the quality of education in Marin, and most importantly, you've served as role models for our young people. I am grateful for your tireless devotion to our students. Your hard work gives me hope during these challenging times and ensures that our nation will have a bright future. Even though we're separated, we're not apart. 
and I hope you all will take today to enjoy this recognition with your friends and family. Stay well and congratulations. Hi everybody, I'm very excited to get to introduce you to Marin County's Teacher of the Year. Every year we get to identify just one teacher who represents all of the amazing committed educators we have in this community. This year's Teacher of the Year is Erica Meeker. Erica is a music teacher. She works at Ross School. She's been there for 10 years. She is nothing short of amazing, inspiring, and committed. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be inspired by Erica Meeker. Um, I was really lucky to have some really amazing um, music and band teachers growing up at my middle school and my high school teachers that really made it feel like um, a community and that was always my sort of happy place and my safe space at school. Um, so when I went to college, I decided to sort of follow that passion and I studied trombone performance, um, thinking I might be a professional musician, but after a few years of um, coaching youth swimming and um, teaching private trombone lessons at the uh, local middle school in town through a collaboration that my university had, I decided to jump into uh, the world of music education. Um, once I got my credential and a master's degree, I was lucky enough to find my first teaching job at Ross School and I've been there ever since. So every day is really different, which is really wonderful. So I teach the full range of music courses at my school. Um, so kindergarten general music, where we're doing a lot of singing and dancing and really learning through play, all the way up through courses in the middle school. So I teach guitar and I teach um, the bands starting in fourth grade up through eighth grade. Um, I get to work with every student at my school through their nine-year journey at Ross School, which is really wonderful. I get to create really great relationships with them, um, and, and I try very hard to create that musical community in my classroom that I benefited from um, when I was growing up. I, I really get to know them, and I get to put on a lot of productions and performances that allow students to um, get to know each other across different grade levels. Um, I also get to work with lots of different teachers at my school. So um, when we're putting on a show, I'm working with elementary teachers who are helping kids practice their lines. I have um, other faculty members that help with choreography and middle school teachers who help with public speaking. I think that to me is the contribution that I value the most is sort of getting to bring lots of people together um, and then showcase the work of a lot of students and a lot of teachers to our community. This past year, our big spring musical, which was fourth through eighth grade, was The Wizard of Oz. Um, and so that's open to anyone fourth through eighth grade who um, wants to perform and, and be a part of the show. And then we also have um, the like set design and art classes that come into that mix and, and help put on those productions. Our, um, our choirs, I have an elementary choir and a middle school choir that put on a few performances each year and then our bands, fourth through eighth grade, um, put on performances along with the orchestra several times through the year. But I, I actually think that, like for me, the biggest successes are when students come back from high school or college and just tell me that they're still playing, they're still singing, they still take their guitar out and, and use that as a way to kind of balance things in their life. Um, I love when there's opportunities for students who maybe don't get to shine in other parts of the classroom. Either they have learning difficulties or behavioral struggles, but they can sort of channel that into something in the music room. Small, small victories, I think, sometimes are, are the most meaningful. So um, right now I'm doing video lessons and resources for my students weekly, and then weekly live classes that I do um, from my kitchen sometimes with my son and, and sometimes while he's napping. And so I'm kind of dancing around my kitchen and um, you know, I have my lineup of instruments on the kitchen counter and, and scattered along the kitchen floor as I'm trying to, to teach over uh, Zoom calls just like this. But um, you know, we're just trying to get creative. <laughs> I'm really proud of what I do and the chance that I get to be a part of the education of the whole child and, and being able to bring um, music and singing and dance is so important, especially now that, um, you know, times are a little bit uncertain and, and that happiness and that joy um, 
that music education can bring is something that I'm really proud that I get to be a part of. I am so fortunate that the first school I ended up at is a school um, like Ross that has such an amazing faculty, staff, um, and parent community that supports the arts. Um, my superintendent, Dr. Michael McDowell, and my principals, Angela Gramlich and David Rice, along with a very supportive Ross School Foundation and amazing parent community, um, has really made this journey so, so much fun and rewarding. Um, I have a great network, um, other music educators around Marin County who are really um, extremely collaborative and, and help each other out. And then of course, my parents, my mom and dad, they supported me in my music education from a very young age um, and encouraged me and kept me going at that piano when I was young. And then of course, my husband, Lucas, who's my uh, support at all times, my carpenter when I need things built for my classroom, and uh, my son, Canyon, who kind of lets me see the little joys in, in dancing and singing around and, and how much fun that can be. At the heart of schools and school districts are classified staff who work tirelessly, often behind the scenes, to ensure that daily operations run smoothly, facilities are well cared for, and children receive individualized support. Across our county, 43 classified staff were selected for recognition by their districts this year. Each of these individuals contributes to the education of all children by playing a vital role in their schools and districts, and we are so grateful for their tireless support. I am privileged to introduce a slideshow of the 2020 Golden Bell Classified Honorees that will include their name, their work location, and three words that describe them. Congratulations to all honorees, and thank you for all that you do each and every day to support all children in Marin County.
The Golden Bell Awards Ceremony recognizes that great schools and outstanding programs depend on the involvement of the entire community and educational staff in all positions. But the focus of this event is always upon recognizing that first and foremost, our children receive the education they deserve and parents rightfully expect because of excellent teachers and devoted faculty. Today, it is my honor to introduce a slideshow featuring the 2020 Golden Bell Certificated Honorees, teachers and faculty who have served in classrooms and special programs throughout Marin to prepare students for a meaningful future. The slideshow includes their name, work location, and three words that describe these outstanding certificated honorees. On behalf of our public education community, thank you for your tireless work on behalf of all of the children in Marin County.
So as we continue our virtual Golden Bell celebration, we're gonna stop here for a minute and take a look at all the amazing things educators throughout Marin County have been doing. This has been quite a year, I think we'll all admit. It's unprecedented, it's unthinkable, and yet the educators in our community stepped up. They have been caring, compassionate, willing to do whatever it takes on behalf of the children of others. We owe them our thanks and take a look at what amazing things they've been doing. Thank you very, very much from over 40,000 students. Hi. Um, I just want to make this quick video to remind you guys that we're all in this together and stay safe, stay strong, and that if you guys need anything, you always got a friend in me. So that's how I'm going to be singing. Um, shout out to Maya Sullivan. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> troubles I got them too there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you we stick together and see it through cause you got a friend in me yeah you got a friend in me troubles I got them too there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you we stick together and see it through cause you got a friend in me yeah you got a friend in me troubles I got them too there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you we stick together and see it through cause you got a friend in me yeah you got a friend in me So as we end our virtual celebration of this year's Golden Bell, it's been a little different, but it has represented all that is good about public education and the amazing educators that serve the children here in Marin County. To the Golden Bell winners, your recognition is well deserved, congratulations. To all of you who supported and support our Golden Bell winners, thank you very, very much. So, from my heart to yours, congratulations to everybody. <laughs>